If you think I look tired and exhausted, you're totally right. I didn't sleep for 48 hours, two international flights, but finally I'm on a train in India leading to Agra. My name is Gianluca Colla, I'm a reportage photographer. A great story for me is when there are people in the story. I mean, as much as I like shooting pretty much everything from landscape, animals, old stuff, mummies, I've been shooting pretty much everything in my story, but I really feel passionate about the story when there are people in it. And when I can live with people, when I can be with people, when I can do the same thing they do, when I can be part of, the, of their daily life or their routine, that's when a story becomes really great for me. Like, I spent several weeks if not more, with a shepherd in Sardinia. And now his sons, they call me uncle. That's probably the best gift you can have as a photographer. Where I live, there are almost 1,300 fountains, so water is not an issue at all. But where we are now, in India, we are next to the Taj Mahal in Agra, Water is a big issue because here you can't use water safely. I'm on assignment for an NGO and uh, we are looking and digging deeper to see what are the problem and the possible solution. So that's why we decided to spend time around the river until we found something that got our attention. Here I am, back in the hotel, after a hard but successful day of shooting and I'm about to complete the shooting part and to start a second part of workflow and editing. The shooting is not done until all the images are downloaded, renamed and backed up. Now the second part, editing and workflow. Even before I get into that part, the very first thing I do is calibrating my screen. Uh, it's a very quick uh, process very simple. I use the Spider 4 from Data Color. Simply put it in front of my screen, let the software run for a couple of minutes, and then here it is. All the color are the way they should be, and this is very important. I've been asked what's what's the feeling when you when you see your pictures on on magazine or uh, on cover of magazine. A few years ago I worked on a project with, uh, with, uh, with people who had different problems like the Down syndrome or trisomic people. And I did some prints and I gave the prints to one of the girls involved in this project. And, and after I gave her the prints, she was crying. And then she said, I never thought I could have been so beautiful. Then, then that really made me happy and proud of being a photographer. 